Hi, I'm Pakrat12 and today we play with uh, Roshi Ikeda inspired uh, uh, algorithm. The idea came from uh, the book of shaders uh, in generative design chapter uh, at random. You already see uh, Roji Ikeda uh, test pattern from uh, 28. If you uh, scroll down, you find an exercise uh, here for which you have the code if you click. So here's the code in uh, GLSL and uh, I'm uh, honest with you, I, I don't uh, uh, understand uh, too much w w what's here inside so um, today we make this by intuition so uh, yeah let's uh, start this from uh, from scratch so let's let's set uh, in a constant chop okay uh, 1280 uh, for the resolution we go with square uh, output and uh, I would like to set the number of the rows so uh, 1 to 8 uh, sounds uh, good um, or maybe I will go with 32 uh, because it's easier to see when, when working with textures so um, yeah let's uh, let's have a noise okay with this row resolution and uh, yeah we we take uh, nearest pixels and uh, let's have a, a null and I would like to to see the uh, results so uh, split left to right and from uh, here we pick uh, a top okay now let's make this uh, nearest pixels okay So now, obviously, I would I would like to set this uh, 32 by 32 resolution into something uh, uh, bigger, like the output resolution. So uh, I can use a fit here, and uh, again uh, nearest pixels, and let's drag this resolution, and. Uh, feel outside or feel uh, or many others as uh, this is a uh, uh, square so okay now if if you remember the the exercise right here we have some something like noise but it's offset uh, each each line it's it's uh, uh, have a different offset maybe and because um, the, the part with the white and black transition we can uh, get that with uh, a threshold okay so uh, yeah let's set the noise to 32 mono and uh, yeah if we play with with this the amount of uh, white or or black it's it's changed but we we need to to uh, separate the the lines and uh, we can do this with uh, displays so we can displace and let me close this uh, viewer Okay, and I would like to have the displaced. Or just let me change the order, because uh, yeah, like this would be much much better. So I have a fit, and uh, right after uh, we go with uh, displace and how we displace. So uh, only on the on the horizontal. Okay, so we only use uh, red. Let's uh, have uh, noise, and we go with uh, one by thirty-two and uh, nearest pixels. 
okay and uh, yeah now this one has to be 32 mono and now let's go into this place right and let's uh, uh, set only the red uh, source midpoint would be zero and uh, nearest pixels okay now here instead of the hold we go with uh, repeat okay so right right there it's a very nice uh, uh, visible uh, offset for the lines okay now we don't change this uh, source uh, uh, weight okay in uh, instead we we go here and uh, say we want to uh, displace each frame so we use abs time dot frame and let's divide with 256 and uh, yeah maybe the other side we use a, a minus here and uh, yeah some of them some of them uh, go goes in the opposite direction we can use a uh, mat here and make everything positive and uh, and also I'd like to use a fit here too this time it's uh, one by the uh, resolution okay so uh, yeah and now if we play with the threshold okay we can change the the density and uh, yeah let's set here for the rows let's go with uh, 64 okay it's much uh, much better now there is another aspect which i would like to to uh, take in consideration okay uh, let me let me use a level here or not no okay so what i would like to 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 have is uh, uh, having different density on each of the the row now the density uh, here it's uh, uh, almost similar it's a, a nice spread uh, uh, noise what we can do is uh, use a ramp okay and by default this one comes with uh, output composite multiply okay we choose vertical and now if we connect this okay um, yeah uh, it's everything it's black okay but uh, yeah we have this uh, slider also okay now I, I like it more like this but uh, somehow uh, it's it's in a in a in I don't like this order you know this uh, rampy order I would like to shuffle the lines and uh, uh, right here I would like to shuffle the lines uh, that means we use a, a remap okay so here we need to to uh, build a texture for the the, the remap okay now uh, let's let's use a ramp okay we need 32 rows so or uh, 64 it's now so um, yeah we do like this and from here we use top two we go into chops we only need uh, red then we sort this with random from here and we go back into uh, textures so like this and let's flip this as this would be my Y in a, a remap uh, UV so let's flip bottom left okay and now 
let's have a reorder and maybe yeah I use a fit also here so this uh, it's, uh, let me make some some space okay now this fit is uh, rows by rows for the resolution and uh, fill okay now we go nearest pixels okay again nearest pixels for the the reorder and first of all I said this fit this texture goes for the the uh, Y and now with the uh, uh, ramp And this time uh, for the uh, we don't take the composite okay only set the resolution and we go for the um, X and this reorder takes the input to for the green and is 32 RG okay now what's happened if we go into remap let me set nearest pixels here and uh, yeah now the the lines are uh, shuffled and uh, this is much better uh, for me so um, we can play now with the uh, threshold and uh, yeah this is this is much better what else I would like to uh, draw the the lines let's uh, check again in this uh, uh, exercise uh, yeah I have some some lines there and uh, let's build this first I would like to fit this okay so I just copy this uh, uh, resolution uh, not fit outside fill okay and here I would like to uh, use an edge but I believe the fit should be just a moment. Okay, the, the fit should be this resolution. Oh, it's already. Okay, that's great. So we use edge. And uh, here some of them are, are whiter than uh, uh, the others. But if we use uh, mat and ceiling, Okay, uh, all the all the lines are uh, uh, the same. So now we can uh, composite with uh, the threshold result and not multiply. Let's have uh, maximum. So yeah, we have the lines now. So uh, and. We can uh, change the speed here, so we can go uh, slower, and uh, maybe in uh, in this noise. Let me check. Yeah, let's go with uh, one, and uh, yeah, here you can play with uh, with the noise uh, settings. Okay. What else uh, you can add? Uh, it's maybe something I don't necessarily like too much, but uh, image filters, uh, RGB delay, and uh, you you'll see. Uh, I take uh, only one, two, and three, and in wet mix I go with one divided by sixteen. So a very small uh, amount. And also here in threshold, you can uh, alter the softness. Okay, you'll get some uh, different color pixels, which is not so uh, so bad. Now, if we increase the number for the rows, uh, yeah, we can go crazy with uh, 256 or uh, uh, yeah, so now you play um, 
with the threshold you can also change uh, the uh, result uh, playing with uh, the offset noise which goes to black or to uh, white just a second edge mod uh, yeah if you if you want to to have uh, a thicker uh, lines uh, this will be much visible for let's go 32 so if you need thicker lines you can uh, go here uh, with a blur right after the edge okay so uh, yeah and we the amount of blur is the thickness for the lines so uh, yeah this was my uh, tutorial I really hope you like this thank you so much for watching and um, yeah I want to thank to all my patrons for for the support and uh, see you in the next one bye